Okay, everybody. Here's the the final the final uh, cat 1959 cat D9 dozer. Dust deal already. Uh, got her done. Looks good. I'm very happy with it. Not perfect. It's just metal art. It's not. I'm no engineer. And every model is different. Every model's a different scale. It's a different shape. Different. Everything about them is different. Every even two do, two D nine dozers are so can be so different, especially if they're in different scales. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of turn this because there's I don't have a light up here shining this way, so it's kind of dark on this side. So I'm going to have Deb just stand there, and then I'm going to kind of turn it. So okay, it's on a piece of cardboard on the left, so it, it actually turns pretty easy. So I'm going to turn it a little bit here. You can kind of see the front and I'm going to turn it keep going around a little bit so you start to see uh, maybe it isn't going to turn that good and there we go and there's a little bit of that shot that side and you can see all the details up in here and I'm going to spin her around I'm going to spin it around Deb, because the light's over there. Mm -hmm. so you can kind of see a little bit more there. And uh, I don't know if the light's shining in there the best. Maybe, I think the most of the light's coming from behind you, so you should see. Maybe when I turn a little bit more, you can zoom in a little bit on the dash. Go there now, try coming up close and going into the dash where the little switches are and the levers. Maybe a little bit of the engine from that side. Okay, now go back a little bit and we can go back to the, maybe get the, just a little bit of the winch, but I'll turn it here a little bit more. Let me turn it some more. Okay, there's the winch. And let me see if I'll keep turning it around. side and let's see this is <clears throat> there so there's the dozer and uh, I would say it probably weighs maybe 70 pounds made out of 18 gauge sheet metal I tried to get a lot of detail in it uh, so today I'll send my friend the pictures of it the one that he's got the real he's got the real dozer so he can see if he so far he said he's very happy how it looks so but it wasn't until today that so I got the little headlights on it and some of the little other little details, the gauges inside here, I got those on, and the tail light, so. And uh, so you can kind of see the cable, whole cable system now. So, but I'm very happy with it, and I think he'll be happy with it, so. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but if th this, right, as far as I know right now, this could be my last dozer. It's, I love them, but I got probably 20 things I want to build that I've wanted to build my whole life. And uh, I'm getting up there in age, and hey, if it's meant to be, I'll keep building them, and maybe I'll build another one. I've always wanted to build the Fiat Alice 41B. I even actually started the plans for that one and got it partially scaled up a few years ago, and then the, the collector had a turn of events in his life, and and that so we kind of kind of canceled on that deal. So, But anyway, I'm very, I love the old dozers. I love all the old machinery and uh, very happy with this one. So we'll, uh, I haven't been on for a few days. Um, I just took a break and I'm gonna, I have actually, I've actually started the, the next project, the John Deere 4020. So in a day or two, I'll put, post the first video of, 
of this the starting progress on that and I got the uh, EJ Potter tractor almost done and I'm very happy how that's looking and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll put this we'll put this video on today and share it with everybody and then we'll see you in a couple of days and I'll show you the first progress on the John Deere 4020 so everybody have a great Saturday and yeah, we'll catch you later.